In today's video, I'm taking you thrifting with me in Bibles for Missions Thrift Store in Crystal, Minnesota. So here we go. On this day, I spent $88, which is actually a lot for me. The reason I spent so much is I actually bought two items that were over $20 a piece. One is a dog crate for our new puppy, Penny, which you'll see in a little while. And the other is a small piece of furniture, which I picked up for my resale booth. If you're not familiar, I have a booth in a vintage shop in a town nearby. It's called the Pink Elephant in Hopkins, Minnesota. And so I picked up a piece of furniture for $20 to put into my space, not to resell it, but to actually display items. I love hunting for Syracuse China restaurant wear in thrift stores, so I was super excited to find this Syracuse China white pitcher for $1.99. And I found these glasses before I even started filming. I picked these up for resale. There's six of a larger size and six of a smaller size, and I plan to see resell them at my shop. Bibles for Missions prices tend to be very good, but this was an anomaly. They had $8.99 on this piece. Now they do have a vintage area that has more expensively priced pieces. So I don't know if this was just misplaced, but I did find a few pieces on this day that were marked very high. So I don't know if maybe one of the days someone else was working and was marking items higher, or if these just migrated over from the vintage area. Not sure, but that was a really weird price for this shop. Here's the psychology of thrifting. If I know items are all gonna be $5, I'll, pr I'll plan to spend like $25 and get five things. On this day, when things are 79 cents and $1.99, I just kind of go all out. And so I wound up spending, you know, $40 on my two bigger items, but then another $40 on items either for myself, my collections, or to resell. So I think keeping prices low is smart for thrift stores because people are more likely to spend more money when they're not offended by the prices. <laughs> I was checking these out because I have sold Talon ice tongs before. These look like they might be for olives because they're a much tinier size. I don't know, but they have a really pretty print on them and they are that Talon shape. And you can see here, they're 49 cents. So I did wind up bringing these home. I'll show you in a moment the items I brought home from this area of the shop. I picked up this woven trivet for 99 cents. We had these when I was a kid in my childhood home. I like this one because it has the navy blue on the edge and I do some blue in my kitchen. For the shop, I picked up this cat cheese spreader. I have a basket of spreaders that I sell in my little booth. And then I also did pick up the talon tongs, which again, I'm not sure exactly what they're for, but they are pretty and cool. And I think those will be fun to sell. I have seen these Pyrex glass storage containers sell at the shop. Now this one was priced at $2.99, which is a very good price. It's not a great price for resale because at the shop they sell for like five or $6. So I left that behind because I couldn't make enough of a profit on it, but I did think it was a very nice price for if someone wanted to use it for their own personal use. I thought this little guy was super cute. I think it's a milk pitcher because he has the little spout at his mouth. It looks like someone might have used it for a plant because you can kind of see there's dirt in the back of him, but I think it was probably created as a milk pitcher. Either way, I thought it was really different. And so I did bring this home for my spring decor. 
I've placed the bunny here on my coffee bar. And then I also, I didn't get footage of these, but I also found two bunny mugs. They were 59 cents a piece. And I've gotten into a habit of putting two seasonally themed mugs here on the top of my coffee bar. So I think those look really cute with my little bunny creamer, which will probably be mostly just for show. But I think he looks great here on the coffee bar. My first thought when I saw this piece was that the top of this might be a flower frog where you put different stems in it. I'm not certain, but there are like dead dried stems in there you can kind of see. So I did pick this up and that's what I'm going to use it for. I could use it for my faux white tulips. I could use it for some of the button flowers that I've recently created, or I can save it for the summertime when I have flowers for my cutting garden. This caught my eye because it's that Norwegian roast mailing, but I think it was intended to be like a finial because you can kind of see, I don't know if I showed, yeah, there you go. It screwed on to something. So I don't know how the person who owned it used it, but it looks like it was intended to be screwed onto something. At first I thought this was the bottom of a cheese box, but when I looked at it a little closer, you can see there it looks carved like a bowl inside. So I think this was meant to be like an old wooden bowl and I did bring this home. I'm going to refinish this along with my cutting board or at least re-oil it along with my cutting board that I got a few weeks back. Same oil to just kind of renew the wood. I thought this was really pretty and I was wondering if it would glow because some of this cobalt blue glass actually has uranium salt in it and will glow under a black light, but I didn't have my light with me on this day, but I was curious. I thought this salt glazed pitcher was gorgeous. It was priced at $5.99 and I just think it was really pretty. I, I was really drawn in by that design on the front of it. So I did bring this home to add to my salt glazed pottery collection. I don't have a huge collection, but I pick up pieces that I really like. I picked up this bowl. I thought it was really pretty. I liked the pattern in it and it'll be nice for fall. I also picked up this jelly jar from the Goofy movie. Sometimes people collect these, so I thought I might stick this in the shop. Here's the little bat ear handled iron stone that I've shown you before. I don't love this pattern for myself, 
but I understand other people do. And then I found this gorgeous piece of older transfer wear. I don't know if this some, is some sort of chamber, small chamber pot. I don't really know. Or was it some sort of eating vessel? Not sure. I have this other chamber pot that's in a very similar pattern or at least a similar color transfer. And I put it near that one. I'm planning to put a plant in the new one. I just don't have a plant that I like yet. A few weeks back, I purchased a copper mug stand for my shop and I've sold like six mugs off that thing. So I was just taking a peek on this day to see if there were any other interesting mugs that I might want to put on the mug stand. I probably should have picked this up for resale. I don't exactly know what it is. It's some sort of vase, but I did wind up leaving it because I was distracted by this one, which I did pick up and I'm gonna insert footage of what I've already done with this piece. I picked it up with the specific purpose of using it for these button flowers that I wanted to make and I think they look just fantastic in here. This store always has a lot of lovely teapots and several of the ones that were here last time have moved, so good for them. They must have them priced right. I used to pick up a lot of lusterware, but I don't pick it up anymore because I don't have a great place to display my current lusterware collection. So until I figure that out, I'm not adding to the collection at all. I have a salt and pepper set in this same blue glass, which is really pretty. So I picked up this divided plate. As I turned the corner, this display of transferware caught my eye. Most of it was priced higher than I wanted to pay, but it was really fun and beautiful to look at. This covered dish, I guess it's like a sugar bowl, was really pretty, but it had, its transfer was terribly done, just like really incomplete and poorly done. So I did leave that piece on the shelf, but have no fear, you'll see in a moment, I did find one piece that I brought home from this little collection. So I found this picture. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I love the handle. I love the scalloped along the edge and it was only 99 cents. Just gorgeous. I've put it here in my living room. I'm not sure that this is where it will stay, but this is where it is for now. I've been a little delayed in switching my decor over because, you know, I got a puppy and uh, that's what I've been focusing on. So, <laughs> but I'll find a place for it.
this store always has lovely furniture. They have decent prices on them too. I mean, it's not like super cheap, but really nice prices for what you're getting. They didn't have as many hutches as they normally have. I always enjoy looking at the hutches that they have, but they really didn't have too many, but they did have several lovely dressers, including this waterfall dresser. I thought this was really cool. Funny story, someone came into the Pink Elephant looking for waterfall dressers and I was like, you should check out Bibles for Missions Thrift Store. They always have waterfalls. I don't know what it is. And sure enough, here were some. Making trouble. This is cute. This little, this is nice. this little Wait, black look. ladder this shelf. Ladder. That's adorable. Sure. Oh, cute. It's Put new? Inside out too. Nice. Very cute. <laughs> Truth. Ah, strange. Nice. This is the piece of furniture that I picked up for the shop. I like it because it's so narrow, but it's also tall and sturdy. I don't have it set up yet, but I will find a place for it in my little booth. This is the little vintage area. I don't tend to buy much from over here, but I always like to look. There's usually some fun items to check out. And this is the crate that we bought. It's actually not for the new puppy. It's actually for our older puppy to protect him from the new puppy. So she has a tendency to jump on top of him when he's napping, and this will give him some protection from above. I had already ordered one from Amazon for $40, and then I found this one for 24. So I brought this one home and canceled that order, and it's working out great. And that's all that I have for you in this week's Thrift With Me video. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to Bibles for Missions Thrift Store, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.